Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here right on time. Right on time for another virtual tour of a great Corps of Engineer campground. The last several weeks I've been wandering around Sam Rayburn Reservoir and I'm still there today. And I have journeyed over to Mill Creek Park. That's a Corps of Engineer campground on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. So I have Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod giving us the ultimate in stabilization. Best of all, I have you. So let's get on Little Red and go see a campground. And you're going to like this one. I hear thunder. We got to go... We got a hurry. There's there's a storm on the horizon. So this this is a it's kind of a disappointment to be honest. Beautiful, beautiful campground, but it is in such in desperate need of renovation. So first thing we're gonna go down is we're gonna see the we're gonna check out the boat ramp for my boat ramp fan. You guys get first position today. Mark's laid out kind of weird. But you'll see what I mean. So it is a two-laner boat ramp. But the cool thing is it opens up onto that creek with all those really neat cypress trees. All right. Boat ramp done. Now we go see some camping loops. They got several very noteworthy locations. The lake is extremely low because we've been in a drought. Ah. It is August 30, 22. It is a Monday. And uh, there's very few people camping. They're taking advantage of this beautiful lake. We got a lawnmower making noise up here. That's all right. We appreciate all they do. What's weird about it, one of the things, I say it's weird, it's not weird, it's just kind of uncomfortable because right there to our right are a bunch of houses. Not the first time we've encountered that with a Corps of Engineer campground or a state park for that matter. All right, we're gonna go the opposite. Do not enter, we're breaking the law, oh, no. There's your dump station. These are all back-end sites. There are some pull-throughs, but most of these are back-end, uh, and most of them have 50 amp. Gotta watch out for the big hole. They've got a lot of extensions concrete extensions to the pad so that people can park their boats off on pavement off the grass that's a good site right there number 35 i like this side of the campground better than the other side one a little bit a little bit of a slope there though but I have I have two pre preferred sites on this loop you're looking at one of them it's number 25 yeah 25 I like it of course any of these on the, the left here are really great but 
most of them would be hard to get level. I like 25 and I like 7. Now there, there are, they've spray painted the rough patches, some of the rough patches on the, the road here. That kind of implies that somebody's going to be fixing the road. Hopefully they're going to really fix it. Because it's, it's really, really rough. Now that's a cool sight. But it does not compare to number seven, which is right here dead ahead. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Water access to the creek, perfect for launching bobber. of the stuff. Two more camping loops and a beach and some other stuff. Looks like they have Camp Hostess site available. Let's see. I think we need to go opposite direction on that one. Oh, missed it. do what I do. We gotta get through here because I gotta show you these. We're kind of going the wrong direction for them. But they are very level, very flat. And they're right across from the group of big. So if you got a group of folks want to hang out at the lake together, be a great thing to reserve. There's a couple of sites down there. We can't get down there. Big tree in the way. This, this is interesting the way this loop is laid out. I realize I'm going the wrong direction. I'm going to turn around. We're going to loop it. We're going to go in circles. It's just a really wide avenue. I guess it's a good thing that I got the wide lens on. Okay. Now we're gonna check out the other loop over here. And the one I just passed, we'll finish up with it. Stop sign. I didn't see a stop sign. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. You gotta catch me on your little golf cart and enforce that action. Oh, and yeah, you gotta have a badge. That's a flat sight.
I'll swing around so you can see it. There's two of them right there. Big missing piece of asphalt. That's a cool sight. 77. Nice big tree climb. I was touring. Where was I? Two parts back. Remember the name of it, it slips in my mind right now. But anyway, she said that they were going to be closing that campground. It's here on this lake. And they're going to be renovating the whole campground. So perhaps we're going to see renovation here as well. Lord knows it could use. Setting is just here is just awesome. But it's in just it's just wore out. That'd be a great sight right there if the pad was all messed up because I don't, I don't know that I could get shooting in there. I think her nose would stick out a little too far. Oh, this is a rough stretch of rough stretch of road here. on this one too. Man! They might fire me if I don't get this right. Oh, uh, Yappy's the only one that can fire me. And she doesn't care what direction I go on the campground too. So I, 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 I have job security. We'll just go back. We're coming close to the end. that of the three shower facilities the only one has a working handicap shower that's on the, the other loop the first loop we, we took all right now we're going to visit the final loop which is pull through site and it is perhaps the most in need of renovation. Thank you. 
That stop sign is all faded, so you don't have to pay attention to it when they're, they're that faded. And the final point of notice, or thing of note, is the beach. Indeed, they have a sandy beach. brings us to the end of our visit, our virtual tour of Mill Creek Park. I sure appreciate you staying with me to this point. Thank you. If you're still here now, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Click on that subscribe button. You want to make sure you catch every episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. Every Sunday morning, I'm in a different campground. For those of you who have been following along, Thank you so much. That's, that's, that's why I get to see that. Oh, that's, that's not that impressive. Oh, yeah, that's why I get to see that. Thank you for that and for my patrons. I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?